What happened here is a small town in rural America was decimated by a mega fire. Well, it has to be okay because what's the alternative? I mean, sure, I got to cry. Sure, I sure. I mean, I'm, I'm heartbroken. Yeah, but you know, that's not gonna that's not gonna rebuild Greenville. And it's just an entire community, and you can't really rebuild it effectively. People will get scattered and displaced, and it'll be a long time and coming back and uh, a lot of this in my mind you know ends up being essentially it starts to become an archaeology site kind of a testament to the the fire era that we're in right now <laughs> everything everything that i own is now ashes or twisted metal that's just all it is you want to see people rebuild um but the you know the style of the homes and the community and the ability of people to be able to come back and do that, to have the resources to rebuild the way it was, um, it's daunting. It's heartbreaking. I haven't been down, I haven't been to the end of Main Street where my son's home burned. I haven't been able to get down there, but I have been out to some of the other neighborhoods and they're destroyed. We need to change right now how we manage our wildlands because if we don't, then places like Greenville, we're going to see on repeat again and again and again. You know, every morning we wake up and are we gonna put a smile on our face or a frown? And by God, I'm gonna smile because you know, it just makes things a little bit better and a little bit better right now is a lot. Maybe it's too late to help this community but maybe we can help another community get through it a little easier than what we've had it here.